my uh, dear viewers, my brother and sisters, the viewers of CYC, welcome back to another episode of Healthy Family. Uh, we discussed before the basics of uh, establishing a healthy family, and we understood last time how the personality is being formed. Today, I like you to take uh, like to take you to a trip of uh, the infancy period, the first two year, two years of life, from birth till 24 months. We'll see the growth of the child. We're taking very light yani, remarks, uh, not in-depth study, but something just for us to be aware of. The physical growth of the baby in the first two years, he or she gradually is being transferred from being passive to active, meaning when he or she was born, was put in the crib, everybody attends to him or to her, and gradually, by learning movement and speech and communication, he becomes, she or he becomes active, participating in the community and the environment around him. The baby is uh, born with an instinct sucking reflex. Instinct meaning nobody taught him or her, but once the baby is born, you put him to the mother's chest and he goes for work to feed himself. Uh, this is what an instinct is, uh, an action that doesn't need experience or studies. Uh, just, just build in, God give him that so he can feed himself or herself. We start to introduce the baby food uh, for the baby at about four months. The milk of the mother becomes less important gradually, and this is why you have Gerber uh, bottles. Uh, in starting with vegetables, fruits, and go up to meat and chicken and turkey and so on. Uh, because the milk of the mother becomes less nutritious uh, as the baby is grown. Uh, the baby is capable of uh, turning himself over at about four months. At about six months, he can sit up. He, he or she can crawl at about 10 months. And at 12 months, by the first, the end of the first year, he can start uh, walking. Not necessarily in a steady gait, uh, but sometimes in a funny, humorous uh, gait. Uh, but uh, the bones at the time are strong enough to support his body. Uh, in the second year, uh, there is more growing, more growth of the movement, and the child will be having more control of uh, walking, moving around, holding objects with his hand or her hand. This is uh, between 12 months to 24 months. Um, in the emotional growth, we cover the physical growth. In the emotional growth, uh, at the age of six to eight months, this is important for the viewers to understand, there's something called in the baby, stranger's anxiety, meaning, before that age, anybody can take the baby and play with him. Uh, but the brain of the baby is developing, and now the baby can look at the adults around him, and he will make a conclusion, this is not dad, this is not mom, and this is not person I'm familiar with, and he will cry if somebody, adult, approaches him, an adult who is not a familiar person. And we see that a lot in the Coptic Church, uh, who in the congregation uh, congr congratulate a mother with the baby, a new baby, and they try to take him from the mother to kiss him or hug him, and he cries. Why he cries, she or he cries? Because of strangers' anxiety. Now he can determine these are familiar faces or not familiar faces. Of course, the child by nature is egocentric. So egocentricity, meaning focused on the self, is one characteristic of the child, and it is normal for that age. Everybody comes to feed him, take care of him, change his diaper, and that's not pathological. Uh, the first year, psychologically and emotionally, there is formed the trust, meaning if the child is being cared for, he will end up as an adult, trusting himself and others, because he was important, others he could depend on. If the needs of the child are not met at that time, he will 
grow up as an adult, not trusting others who did not respond to his needs, and also does not trust himself because he will feel I was not important for them. The second year of life, we have the autonomy versus shame and doubt. If the child is being encouraged and walking, talking, and we applaud for him, he will have autonomy. If we put him down and make fun of him, he will have shame and doubt. In the growth, we like also to talk about the linguistic growth in the language. The child, in the first few months, he babbles. Babbles meaning he produces sounds that does not form a sentence. And the word babbling is borrowed from the Bible, from Genesis 11, uh, when they were building Babel Tower, and uh, God uh, made them talk in languages they did not understand uh, each other. So we, took, we borrowed this to the babbling of the child. They call it babbling or cooing, C-O-O-I-N-G. At the age of 12 months, at uh, the end of the first year, the child can speak few words. Usually, it is a, a simple word repeated uh, uh, twice, like papa, mama, teta, pupu, very simple on the guttural uh, area. And um, of course, it is around his needs and his feeding and his relatives. Um, at the age of 24 months, at the end of the second year, the language uh, again is about 50 to 100 words. The child will be able to form basic sentences just to express his needs. The language basically is in and out. We always in the youth meetings we get a question, how can I increase the language of my child? Uh, the answer is read for him, talk to him, even if he doesn't understand. Repeat after him. The more in language, the more he hears, the more he will be able to produce. The more in, the more out. We um, like to talk about the sensory motor growth. We're taking very basic brief, so we don't to make it boring and lengthy for you. The hand motor coordination is about six months. That's when the child can hold something and bring it to his food. Of course, uh, he doesn't have the discernment uh, to make a decision, I can eat this or not. This is why it is dangerous. Anything colorful, he will take it to his or her mouth. Uh, the effect of touch at that time is very important. This is why cuddling, kissing him on the cheeks, patting him on the back, playing in his or her hair, conveys love, affection, tenderness, and will increase the human bond between the child and the adult. At 18 months, uh, the child st starts to feed himself with a spoon, not necessarily accurately, as we can see here, and they make a mess uh, with the macaroni and the sauce, and um, there is always uh, mothers who change the clothing that can get dirty from feeding themselves. The toilet training is a big subject, uh, we cannot take much time on this because our style in CYC is a brief message. Ten minute, simple, brief, without complications. But what can we do with the toilet training? The simple answer is establish a routine. Meaning, little Johnny, he's 18 months, we wake up in the morning, he sits down on the party chair. Whether he is productive or not. Of course, when he becomes a productive, we should have a big celebration. We call that positive reinforcement. And we tell everybody that today, Johnny went to the party, and uh, he did it in the party, and dad and mom are happy. Um, in the second year of life, the child is curious and adventurous. Now he's walking, and he doesn't know much. I always say he, but we mean he or she. Um, and this is why this is... Um, difficult period and we we'll talk about child-proof environment, meaning mothers and fathers, you have to pay attention to the wires, to the electrical outlets, to the kitchen cleaning materials, to the chemicals and the liquids, uh, to the stove, the child can reach up to the stove, 
the fire is looking nice and uh, red color and orangey color, but he does not have the prior experience in life to make a judgment that if you touch it, you will get burned. So um, this is a difficult period where there is movement, but there is no wisdom. There is a curiosity, but no discernment. Though the parents need to be cautious about this, and the child-proof environment, there are articles in the inter on the internet to talk about that. Uh, we're gonna stop now, because um, we're gonna continue, God willing, next time. We're still in the first two years of life to see what can we do together to raise healthy families.